For the past year, we've been hunting with the Umarex Hammer 50 caliber air rifle with much success. Well now, Aiden has a smaller, more compact version of the hammer to share with us. The Umarex Hammer 50 caliber carbine. Alright, so what we have sitting in front of us is there's two versions of the Umarex Hammer. Both of them 50 cal. Both of them hit with tons of force. You can shoot from a 255 grain to a 550 grain bullet out of it. Um, today I've got them both scoped up exactly the same with that 4x16 by, by 50 on top. And both of them have carbon fiber tanks. So what's the big difference? Well, the biggest noticeable difference is we chopped it down. For, when we go to the, the carbine length here, we're down to a 22 inch barrel on that. And this one comes pre-threaded ready for your moderator that you want to put on the front. And all you have to do is unscrew this and you can go ahead and just attach that right on from the very beginning. All the, fu the functionality that you have is exactly the same from the original hammer to the carbine. Other than you got the shorter barrel, the bottle you'll see a little bit different there. That's a 35 inch cu cubic inch bottle. So it pumps up to 4,300 PSI as you put inside of that. So you got a lot larger volume and you can see the difference here in length uh, and the width and size that you have from here. So do you get more shots out of it? You get the same power that you have. You pick up a little bit more in there, it works great. To fill them, they're exactly the same. So if I need to charge them up, I can use this foster fitting that's on here and all I do is pull this back, connect it right up to the side. You don't have to use a probe or anything. And so when you disconnect it, you can disconnect it from here and here. And all you do is disconnect and the tank's ready to rock and roll from there. The magazine port, and I'll, I'm gonna pick this one up for a second just so you guys can see. The magazine port is exactly the same on the side. Uh, the other side of the gun, you can see that your air gauge is located here. So some folks, one of the biggest noticeable differences is the fact that you don't have a place underneath this one with the carbine to put a, uh, like a rail if you're gonna add a bipod to it. This is more like your run and gun version, if you will. So if you're gonna take this thing and head out in the field, you can take the gun, you can support it. I actually hold it by the tank when I shoot the gun. Um, and it works, it actually works really nice. It actually has a very nice natural feel. If you're going into like a, a tripod stand or something like that that has a very tight area, it makes it really nice because you can still conceal the gun, you can still hold the gun, it still operates, and, it, and the barrel moves around quite a bit quicker. When you get the magazine, people ask me like, how do you load this thing? How do you know which way it goes? Is it going this way? Does it go this way? We actually have like a little indicator on here so it tells you which way to put the bullet in. So as you're putting the bullet in, it goes in directly in this way. You just press it into position and she's ready to go. Uh, with that, it's the same exact magazine. So if you already have the Hammer 1, or the or the, basically the Hammer, the original Hammer, and you go to the carbine, it's the same exact magazine, so now you'll end up having four. It does come with two magazines, so you get four shots out of this, it's solid. Um, from that, everything else is basically interchangeable. If you, shoot, if you shoot the scope on there, I guess the question somebody would ask me, should I put a smaller scope on here, should I go with the red dot because it is a carbine version? Heck, I would run the same. If you're running a 4x16 on this one, run a 4x16 on that one. It really depends on how far out you're shooting. This one's just a little bit more maneuverable. The only difference is you're not gonna be able to really hook a bipod to here um, or something from there. And you don't really even need it. It's really easy to wield around. A lot easier to carry if you're cutting through trees and brush and things like that. I would say this is probably where you need to go. If you got plenty of wide open spaces and things like that, you don't really care. Uh, and you can make it out to your blind or however you hunt. It depends on how you hunt. Um, choose whatever gun you want. So really the choice is up to you. Um, which one do I like? That's the one, the question that gets in there. For me, it's the same. I like either one of them there. It just depends on the application I'm using it for.